Hey guys, this company called Novesight reached out and asked me if I wanted to try out their LED light pods, off-road pods, three inch. And I was like, yes, I do, because I like LEDs. And I'm building a van and I'm gonna have a whole bunch of LED light bars and light pods and everything, and these will work great on here. I'm actually going to install these on the front bumper, but they're gonna be recessed. So I'm gonna cut some uh, holes out and make some custom brackets that weld on on the inside. So they're basically gonna be flat onto the bumper, maybe stick out just a little bit and hopefully I can adjust them up and down. But, but full disclosure guys, they did send me these for free. However, I'm pretty brutally honest with reviews and these things do seem pretty cool. Uh, Novsite doesn't have a whole lot of products, I would say. Uh, they mostly have a lot of light pods. I haven't seen a lot of actual light bars yet, but they're gonna be coming out with a lot more stuff is what they told me. So that's pretty cool. These ones are the flood pattern. You can see they have four different patterns on here and spotlight, auxiliary driving light, auxiliary, auxiliary fog light, and the ones I got, I think are the flood lights. But uh, these seem to be kind of a better upgrade to the really cheap ones you buy on Amazon, um, or at least the price would suggest that. And they seem pretty nice. They have some quality LED drivers on these guys, but let's go ahead and adventure is calling. Cyber One, light up your way. So it looks like we got installation manual. Oh, pretty cool, got a wiring diagram and uh, some specs. So I guess these use uh, Osram LEDs. That's probably why they cost a bit more than your typical cheapo Amazon light pods. And they have an IP67 waterproof rating. And check that out, they're uh, street legal three inch LED pod lights. Uh, I'm not too sure about street legal. Um, I think they have to be DOT approved. And it's got kind of like how it goes together with all the hardware and cool stuff like that. But anyways, they're nicely packed in here some amber lenses on them which is really pretty neat i think amber is like better for snow driving or something like that here's one of the light pods and they have uh, some nice little protective covers on here say you're driving on the road and you want to cover your street legal led light pods oh you know what they might actually say it's street legal because they come with the covers Maybe that's why. I don't think you're really supposed to technically use these on the street, but maybe they're technically street legal to have on your vehicle because they have the covers. That would be my guess. However, also the covers would like protect them from rock chips and stuff like that. But I don't know. It just seems like a pain to get out of your car and take these off when you're going off road. But check these out. They look pretty quality. I like how they have their own design and they're definitely aluminum plastic lens, a little breathable um, anti-water vent. But it would be interesting to see if these get water behind the lenses, because that's the problem with like the really cheap Amazon LED light pods, like people always get moisture behind the lenses. But hopefully these are much better quality um, and don't do that. But anyways, here we got the amber cover, all the hardware, comes with the Allen keys and we got your own little unique design there and they come with a complete wire harness and it looks like we got a relay on here and it comes with kind of a basic switch i would upgrade this to something a little different but i like how it comes with all the wiring and the relay and the waterproof connectors battery terminals are already ready to go fuse down in there definitely everything you need but anyways let's go ahead and take them outside hook them up and see how bright they are compared to my good old forerunner headlights okay so i got the power bank which is super nice so i don't have to get the extension cord out and then i have a 12 volt power supply set to about 12 and a half volts close enough whatever that thing keeps the mosquitoes away we're gonna connect it to the wire harness make sure those aren't touching Where's that button at? Oh yeah, it's right here. And I only have one hooked up right now, so let's go ahead and power this on. Red light turns on. That one's on, and it's pulling 1.7473 amps. And it's changed a little bit, but it's about 21 or 22 watts. But we'll go ahead and plug in the other one. 
and I would suspect it's about double and we're at 3.34 amps so about 41 watts or so and it's pretty close to double I mean one might be you know pulling slightly less or more it also depends on the heat and a whole bunch of factors like that and nothing in this world is created equal but anywhere around 20 to 22 watts is probably what each one of these is going to pull but anyways i'm going to go ahead and start up my forerunner and i'm going to turn this off real quick and we'll turn the low beams on kind of give you guys an idea of like how bright these are i'll go ahead and set you guys up there and I locked the exposure on my phone, so that should stay constant. So it gives you guys a good idea of how bright these little light pods are. But this is the low beams on my Forerunner, and we'll go ahead and switch to the high beams, and then back to the low beams. And I'll go ahead and switch those off. And here are the Nove Sight LED pods, floodlights definitely get a lot more spill everywhere with the flood pattern pretty good uh, compared to the headlights I mean they don't project maybe as far as the high beams on the forerunner but they really spill everywhere and give you a nice flood pattern I move them around a little bit but anyways I'll go ahead and shut those off and stick the amber lenses on and here's what the amber looks like I would almost say they're definitely not as bright, that amber on there. Well guys, I thought this would just be a good comparison because everybody knows what stock headlights are kind of like. And it just gives you a good idea of how bright these little LED floodlights are. Let me know down below which one you think is the brightest. Also, in a later video, I'm going to be flush mounting these light pods in the front bumper of my van. It's going to require a bit of uh, metal fabrication, but I think it's going to be pretty fun. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you next time. Peace out.